everyone. My name is Evan and recently we just burnt uh, a brush pile back here on this concrete pad. So this is where we've burnt uh, brush piles for the last couple years. But we've decided to clean this area up and we tried to get it to burn up as much as possible and it did fairly well. There's only one small piece of a log that's left over. And I think that area is ready to clean up and then we're going to use this as an area to park equipment. But uh, my, my, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus on this stump right here. So this, that stump is in the way. I want to be able to drive through here and I want to put gravel down on the ground. So I'm going to try to burn that out today and try to burn it down in the ground as deep as possible. Um, so to do that I'm going to use some firewood and I'm going to pile some firewood on top of there and uh, try to help it burn down. Um, so out at my fire pit I had some junk firewood. It was, it was not good enough to burn in my house to heat my house and it was some trees that I had cut down that were dead but they were actually a little too rotten but I went ahead and split up the wood anyway and you can see this wood is not in very good shape. So I've got plenty of firewood now and uh, plenty of good firewood that I could use at the fire pit. So I've decided to just take all that junk firewood and we're gonna use that today to try to burn that stump out. Um, also, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the chainsaw, I'm gonna cut some grooves in that stump. I don't know if that's gonna help or not, but I, I figure if I can cut down in the stump and make some grooves, it'll kinda maybe help the fire burn down into the stump a little bit. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but I'm gonna try it. And then I've got a tractor tire rim. It's like a 38 inch rim. It's actually not, the 38 inches is not big enough to cover that stump. But I'm gonna try to cover as much of it as possible and pile that wood in there and try to, you know, kind of contain the fire and focus it down on that, that stump and hopefully it'll help burn it out. And then when I burnt my brush pile, many people suggested um, instead of using straight diesel to use uh, used motor oil and diesel mixed together and let that soak in and start your fire that way. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try to mix up uh, some of my used motor oil with some diesel to start the fire when we finally get it, get it lit off. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to try to get this stump burned out. So it's probably going to actually take maybe a couple days to get that stump to burn down. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So that diesel and oil mixture, it's been sitting on the wood now for about five minutes, kind of letting that soak in a little bit. And then I've got that really big propane torch. So that's gonna be able to, that's gonna allow me to be able to stand at least five feet away probably and be able to light this thing off. So let's go ahead and burn it.
So using oil and diesel mixed together plus letting that kind of soak in there for about five minutes, it definitely did not like light off quickly. Um, in fact, I had to put that torch in there. I let it sit in there for like three minutes to really kind of get it going. So it definitely didn't like flash off on you or nothing like that. It was real slow to get started. Um, so I ended up mixing about one third oil, two thirds diesel because I wasn't sure how smoky it was going to be. And you can see there's definitely a smoky component to this. So it's got a little more smoke than a regular fire would have, kind of burning that oil that's down in there up. But uh, definitely I think this is, I mean it worked. It was a lot safer way to probably start the fire because it started a lot slower. But we're going to try to let this kind of heat up and burn down and try to burn that stump out. That stump was huge. It, um, I measured that after we cut that down and it ended up being like five and a half feet in that direction. Of course it's bigger in one direction than it is the other, but five and a half feet, that's a huge stump. So we're going to, hopefully this will burn down. We'll just keep adding wood to this to help kind of focus that down. And once it starts making a crater, we'll just, uh, just keep piling the wood down inside of there. We may remove the rim eventually. but hoping you know over overnight and over time keep adding this fire let it burn a couple days and hopefully we'll have a big crater you know where this stump used to be so we'll just give it some time and, and uh, keep adding wood Well, it's the next morning now, and um, it didn't really end up burning too much of the stump. It probably only took off maybe like an inch or two off of the top. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep at it. I may drill some holes in it today. I've got some more brush and more firewood to pile on here. But uh, you can definitely tell there was a mark where the fire ring was. So today I think I'm just going to leave the fire ring off and just build a fire on top of the whole thing and let it burn. So we've taken all of the brush that we had left over from those two trees that I cut down the other day when I was trying out my new steel chainsaw. And we got it all piled up here on top of that stump, just anything to help burn this thing out. And so we got it all on there and, and burnt it all up. So then we started searching for more, more stuff to put on here. So we went through the, uh, went through the fence row back here and, and got a bunch of limbs and stuff like that. We went back through here. There's a bunch of trees, different things that's fell down. And we've got that all piled on here. Just any added fuel we can find to burn the stump out. Cause it's gonna take a long time for that really big stump. So I got to thinking up front, I actually have a persimmon tree that, uh, that blew over last year when it ripped off a couple of the panels on the roof of the white pole barn. And um, I never cut that tree up actually. It's been sitting there ever since. So I thought we'll go up front, we'll cut that entire persimmon tree up 
and we'll put that on top of here and uh, just more fuel for the fire. See if we can, it's gonna take a lot, you know, to burn this thing out. Somebody suggested in one of the comments in the previous video that I should try a leaf blower um, to try to get the fire going. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can get this back going again with this leaf blower. So that leaf blower really got the uh, fire kicked up, didn't it? It was really, it's kind of impressive. I mean, it really, it took it from going from a smolder to a blazing fire, just like that. Got it super hot. Um, yeah, I, now I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it burn now. Um, it's supper time, the sun is down. So I think I'll, I gotta go to work tomorrow, so we'll come back after I get off work. So it's gonna, I'm basically gonna let this burn an entire 24 hours. I'm not probably gonna be able to touch it in that time period. And hopefully when we come back, this stump is mostly burned up. Uh, but I won't be surprised if it's still there. So we'll just have to wait and see. But hopefully let it burn another 24 hours. Hopefully it's hot enough. It'll sit there and smolder and just kind of slowly burn itself down into the ground. Um, I doubt I'm going to get that lucky. But I don't know. We'll wait and we'll come back and see tomorrow. So I just got off from work. And... Uh, it's actually already pretty dark out here. Uh, dust till dawn lights are already on, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But uh, this ended up, um, it's still smoking a little bit. The, um, it ended up raining today, so I don't think that ended up helping me out too much. But you can see even one of the logs we had didn't even burn up all the way. But I got a feeling, I can't see it real well, but... Uh, I think there's probably still about half the stump sitting here. I may go get a leaf blower, see if I can blow this all off and see how much of the stump is actually left. But I want to show you this. That tree I cut down the other day had that piece of C channel in it. And there it is. I ended up burning that log up. Uh, just the section of log that had that C channel in there. And there's that nice big, that nice big piece of C channel metal is in there. I could probably reuse that for something. But let me go get a leaf blower and um, we'll see if we can actually get this uh, blown off enough to see how much of this stump is left. But uh, judging from the mound, it's obviously, there's still quite a bit of it here. If it wasn't so cloudy and rainy, it wouldn't be so dark out. You'd see a lot better.
you can see that this uh, this stump still had a ton of heat left in it. It was just covered up by the ash, and uh, there wasn't enough rain to put it out. So, really, when I put the air to this thing, this whole stump, this whole stump was still glowing. I don't know if you can tell, but this whole stump is still on fire. It's real hot. It's glowing red hot. Um, so it, it's still burning up. It'll take a long time for it to slowly burn this whole stump up. So I'll just keep my eye, eye on it over the next few days. And uh, hopefully when it's done, there ain't much of it left. But uh, this is going to take a long time to burn this stump out. But right now I think in, uh, I'm thinking we're close to halfway burn up. So I think about half the stump's gone. But we'll just wait and see. Well, it's been about, uh, it's been six days since we started burning this stump. And you can see it's pretty much about all burnt up. So the original height was probably about here. And uh, you can see it's burnt down into the ground. And the reason why I cut this off so tall is because there was so much metal that was actually around this stump that I was afraid to get my chainsaw in it. So let me show you a closer look and just show you how much metal has kind of appeared now that we've burnt this stump out. So you can see after six days, it's still actually burning a little bit. Rebecca came out here with the leaf blower and got it blazing again the other day. But you can see down here, there's some kind of metal piece that I'm not sure what it is. But over here, this is a, uh, this is like a sweep, I think, off of a cultivator. And it's down inside of here. This is a brick that's down inside of here. There's another metal sweep. I think I see another one kind of over there, but there's several things of metal that's just buried in this tree. I mean, this is a brake pad. I mean, they just threw all their junk against this tree. Uh, looks like some kind of a hoe. Um, there's a pipe sticking out of the ground right here, but that's how much junk was in this tree, you know? I mean, it just had metal all the way around it. Um, there's an oil filter. So this tree, through the years, and I don't know how many years old this big old tree was, but it just became the place for people to pile their junk against, I guess. And it's just got metal everywhere around it. And that's the reason why I didn't want to get, you know, get too close to the ground with the chainsaw. I was afraid I was going to get into some metal. But uh, burning it out actually took a long time, but it did get most of the stump. So there's still several... This isn't good enough still, you know? So, I mean, there's still, this needs taken down. There's some around here that needs taken down. So I've got several stumps. There's one there, um, there's one right there. I've got one right here and I've got a couple there and one back there. I've got several stumps that need still to be taken out. So I've decided to basically rent a stump grinder and uh, come back with a stump grinder and try to grind all these stumps out. That being said, with all this metal down in this hole, it makes me a little leery to even use a stump grinder on there. So I'm going to probably have to clean this out pretty good uh, before we do that. So we've let this stump burn for six days now. And we piled wood on it uh, for the first two days really hard trying to keep it burning. And then those last four days we just let it smolder. And then in those last four days, that's probably when most of the, the stump actually burn out. But still, um, it's not all the way out. So there's about, I think we got about three quarters of it. So I think I've decided I'm going to come back with a stump grinder and I'm going to try to grind out all these stumps. I can rent one for a day and just see how much I can do. Uh, I will have to clean all the metal out of there, of course. There's a lot of metal and bricks and everything down in this one. But uh, I've never rented a stump grinder before. So that'll be a new piece of equipment to kind of try out and use. Uh, but uh, I think it'll be interesting. So uh, see you guys back here later in another episode where we uh, try to grind out stumps instead and see how that goes. Thanks for watching, guys.